Hey there Alaskan lovers, this is a new way to pop up and down your camper. These are linear actuators, 24 inch, all around. They are electrically controlled. Here and here and um, they work really well. So this is a switch for them and they just pop up and down. You don't have to do much, no oil, no mess. Huh? <laughs> What's up? What's up? <laughs> Oh here, come in here. It's warm. So, with something like this, <clears throat> you definitely need some sort of solar. Uh, you could always turn the vehicle on and have it hooked up to the camper, but you need some sort of electrical system. And, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, <clears throat> sort of matched... Um, I raised it a little bit actually from where it could be so the height of the camper goes a little higher. I used some metal here, um, two pieces of metal, an L bracket to hold it up because it is a little bit different. It's a little thicker than the jacks themselves. Sort of the same idea here, leather bound. And up here, um, I actually drilled a hole in the top of the... This is like an aluminum sort of um, sleeve. And I drilled a hole and I threaded it and I just used the same bolt, which is a little better than before. And yeah, it works really well. I can show ya. Um, I'm definitely not gonna go all the way down, all the way up, but I'll bring it down just a little just to show you. Okay. All right, fun, fun. Nothing too crazy. All right, so this is a double pull, double throw switch. It has three positions. It's in the neutral position right now. We're just going to click it down. And now it's in the middle again, and we're just going to go back up. You'll notice the back one is a little higher than the higher than the front. And it actually writes itself, which is pretty sweet. Um I'm uh, just getting to know this one a little bit better. I think the tolerances are pretty good. Bring it down just a little bit. Um, so one thing that I did want to add is I wanted to add some four switches that will break the connection between all four motors. And that way I can control two motors at a time or control any motor at once so basically they interrupt the flow right now all of them are on one switch and so what I was gonna do is just take one one string of wire one polarity off of each one and run it through a switch so I can cut them off individually and then put it right there that way I could just be like oh, I want the two up but it seems like I don't really need to do that I have to 
bring it all the way down and see because you'll notice that the back two are a little higher and then the front two seem to catch up which is why I had it up a certain way so that it basically all maxes out at the proper limit but I, I am concerned at the um, the lowering part if one reaches its lower limit and cranks down or something like that I have to see what's up with that but I did order those switches and they'll be here but with this method um, I mean basically I came in this I bought this thing and you know you guys know the drill this was in here and it was just like an ungodly amount of pumping and you know at the end of the day when you come in here you kind of just want to click the button sort of walk away from it and let it do its thing i mean you know what is it a two minutes every time you set up if you're using this camper constantly a little bit of a little bit of a nightmare um what else did i do to this that's basically the big one um i did lights for some reason, this uh, Alaskan camper only had 110 volts. And I went ahead and I put lights in here. Um, and I put them on a dimmer. Um, and it's catching the flickering, which is what a dimmer does. It cuts off and goes on. Um, anyway, put, it, put, the, put the lights in. Um, USB. And then this, I put an electric water pump in here. Um, and a fuse box for all the stuff. Um, just sort of modernizing it. And right now I'm just taking care of this table. But I wanted to show you guys this thing. Because these worm drives, um, I can send everybody the link. If people are interested in doing this upgrade. Uh, it's... Uh, it's they're not that much I think they were I want to say a hundred bucks each or maybe less 70 bucks and um, they work really well for the eight footer for the eight foot camper um, I used them on the 10 foot and they were a little bit slow um, one of them was really slow one of the front ones was really slow on the eight foot it seems to work out okay one thing that I did want to try to experiment with what was shocks so having shocks to sort of take on the load, uh, putting one mount right here, the other mount here, and then just having it compressed down when it comes down and then pop up when it pops up. Um, but I didn't need to do that with this one, thank God. So yeah, anyways, excuse the mess, just uh, hearing this out. I love this thing, by the way, it gives me a reason to come in here in the daytime, especially since it's um, since it's really cold out. But I hope you guys and uh, have a good one. Bye. Ooh, coffee.